Number eight, identify each functional group and determine if it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. So let's start with number one. This is an alcohol. And what type of alcohol are we dealing with? Is it primary, secondary, or is it a tertiary alcohol? For alcohols, it depends on which carbon the OH group is bonded to. So the hydroxyl group is bonded to this carbon atom. What kind of carbon atom is this? Primary, secondary, or tertiary? Well, this carbon is attached to one other carbon atom. So that is a primary carbon atom, which makes this a primary alcohol. What about number three? This too is an alcohol. The type of alcohol depends on the carbon atom on which the OH is bonded to. So this carbon atom is attached to three other carbon atoms, which makes it tertiary. So this is a tertiary alcohol. Now what functional group is represented by number two? Chlorine is a halogen. When you have a halogen attached to an alkane, it's called an alkyl halide. Now, is this a primary, secondary, or tertiary alkyl halide? Well, this too depends on the carbon in which the halogen is bonded to. So this carbon atom is attached to two other carbon atoms, which means that what we have here is a secondary alkyl halide. Now, for those of you who are interested in getting the full video with all 90 practice problems, feel free to check the description section below this video. Now, let's focus on this one. This is another alkyl halide. More specifically, it's a benzylic halide because the iodine atom is on the benzylic carbon. One carbon away from the benzene carbon is known as the basilic position. Now the type of alkyl halide that we're dealing with depends on the carbon in which the iodine is bonded to. That carbon is attached to three other carbon atoms. So this is a tertiary benzylic halide. Everything else, you can tell they're amines. So let's look at compound number four. What kind of amine are we dealing with? This is a primary amine. Now what about number five? What would you say? Is it primary, secondary, or tertiary? If we focus on the carbon atom here, this carbon is primary. This carbon here is secondary. However, we don't have a secondary amine. We have a primary amine. Now you might be wondering, why is this considered a primary amine and not a secondary amine? For amines, the rules are different. For alcohols and alkyl halides, it all depends on the carbon in which the halogen or the hydroxyl group is attached to. That determines if you have a primary alcohol or secondary alkyl halide. For amines, the rules are different. You don't look at the carbon atom, you look at the nitrogen atom. So if we focus on the nitrogen atom here, how many carbon atoms are attached to the nitrogen atom? The answer is only one. That's why this is a primary amine and not a secondary amine, because the focus is on the nitrogen atom and not the carbon atom. So looking at number six, this nitrogen is attached to two carbon atoms. So that makes this a secondary amine. Now, if you were to focus on the carbon atoms, notice that this carbon is a secondary carbon and this carbon is a primary carbon. What would you say? Would you say this is a primary amine or a secondary amine? For that matter, I mean, for that reason, we shouldn't really focus on the carbon atom. Because nitrogen can bond to multiple carbon atoms, it doesn't make sense to define the type of amine that you have based on the carbon atoms because it's just not going to work here. Now looking at the next one, 
this nitrogen is attached to three carbon atoms. So that makes this a tertiary amine. For the last one, the NH2 group is only attached to one carbon, even though that carbon may be tertiary, because it's attached to one carbon atom, we have a primary amine. So now you know how to determine if an alcohol, alcohalide, or an amine, if it's primary, secondary, or tertiary.